Uh, but first, before we get into the entertaining, uh, fun parts of the episode, I've got something even more fun, uh, or something. <laughs> Ahoy, salty dogs! Lenscap here. Welcome to the Star Squadron server. Uh, we are on the salty shipyard today, and we're going to be doing some things. Um, I actually have something really fun in store for us. Uh, but first, before we get into the entertaining, uh, fun parts of the episode, I've got something even more fun, uh, or something, <laughs> uh, than that. Um, we actually got a transmission from Jakar. Ooh, what's that? And, uh, anyway, roll clip! So here we are on the lovely planet of Jakar. Uh, we got a missive telling us that, um, payment was ready for the satellite job we did recently. So we're here to collect. I'm not exactly sure what is gonna happen. Uh, I've got my gun ready just in case, but I, I don't, uh... I mean, I don't foresee any trouble, but this is kind of the seedy part of the galaxy, so... Um, they wanted us to meet in this, uh, in this bar over here, in the Free Trade Bar Cafe, so... We're gonna find... Hopefully we find our benefactor in here. And... There's a... There's somebody. Ahoy, robot! A robot. Hello. I have been expecting you. Indeed! <laughs> okay, should I sit down? Please have a seat down. Absolutely, absolutely. Very well, I am Mr. Here. Robot. How are you? I am great. As you see, we drew around the English language program, as I understand. Is this to your best understanding? No, that's perfect. You're fantastic. I, I got you, clearly. Not a problem at all. Fantastic. Benefactor has sent me here so that you can receive your payment without any identities being revealed. Okay, that's good. I like that. That's a very reasonable, uh, very reasonable gesture. Um, you know how important um, the discretion is to myself and my benefactor. I, I definitely appreciate that. As we understand, the credit amount is around 74000 yeah, close enough. We'll do that. So you've got the credits? I've got the credits. Alright, very nice. I will uh, I'll go ahead and grab those from you and we'll be on our way. Yes, I will transfer the money right now. It was 74,000. Is that not right? Uh, yeah, that's right. That's what we agreed upon. You should have your credits transferred. Beautiful, I got your credits. Thank you much. Pleasure doing business. Uh, should we Thank try and shake on it? <laughs> should we try and shake on it? <laughs> Absolutely. Let me. I think I don't have that software operation <laughs> available. All right, it was worth a shot. Pleasure doing business, robot. Tell the benefactor I said hello. I will certainly do. <laughs> have a great day. You as well, sir. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> that was interesting. Um, now that uh, now that that's out of the way, <laughs> let's get started with the project for today. Um, it involves this scene right here. That's right. That is our pod mining ship. It's finished, guys. I'm so proud of it, um, and I and I can't wait to show it to you. Um, oops, fell down the elevator shaft. Okay, well that happens sometimes, I guess. Uh, I've already got the ship built, it's put together, everything is ready to go. We just need to test it out, fly it around. So I'm thinking what we'll do today is uh, hop in the ship, and hopefully, let's try this. Let's just undock, it's already built. Um, I did just name it the Pod Miner, but I'm going to need you guys to help me come up. Whoa, hey robot. <laughs> I'm going to need you guys to help me come up with a cool name for this ship. Um, because I, that's, I don't know, I don't know why. I actually didn't think of a reason, but darn it, the ship's not in here. We gotta go get in it. <laughs> um, 
But help me think of a name for it. Uh, I, that'd be awesome if we could name this together. So here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking to name it. The other, um, the other mining ship we have, right, is called the Lancer. So um, there's a secret door right here. <laughs> uh, so we named the other one the Lancer. I figured we could name this one, and this is up to you guys. If you like this name, let me know. If you don't like it, suggest something else. I was thinking we name it the Dragoon. Um, you know, the, the logical progression, like if you're a Final Fantasy fan, um, you know, is Lancer Dragoon is the next, like, rank or whatever, the next job. So I was thinking the Dragoon. Um, but that's not set in stone. It's not officially named yet. Um, but, but I do think that would be a cool name. Okay, let's make this work. We're going to set this for Faction Access. We're going to change the name of it to Cap Miner. And just for now, we'll change that to the proper name once we, um, once we have it working. And, uh, well, once we have it named, I guess. Let's take a tour. Let's take a tour real quick, because I'm sure some of you guys, um, are new to my channel and have not seen this ship. And we'll do a fly around. We'll, we'll undock it from the shipyard, or, or I guess we'll fly it out of the shipyard and then do a fly around to the outside. It's kind of cramped inside the shipyard right now, so. Um, okay, so, of course, this is our entrance. There is gravity in our, in our like, makeshift airlock there. Um, I don't have real fancy airlocks. Sven does really great airlocks. I do not. <laughs> I just kind of do doors. Uh, but that works. Um, we've got our little kitchenette kind of thing here. Here's our faction module. Let's actually go ahead and enter our faction signature so we know it's our ship. There's like a, like a fridge, some medical supplies. There's a view window here. Um, this opens up to the front of the ship. If we actually jump up, there's the bridge. We'll go up there in a second the proper way, though. Um, so that's the way, that's the way out there. We can kind of sit here and view, or if you're a, um, if, if you're a passenger, you can sit up here and kind of watch the view if you want to, or walk around the ship, or whatever you want to. Um, I don't really mind <laughs> what, what you do while you're in here. There is, here's the lavatory, or the privy, or the head. If you're on a ship, um, it's called that. There is a secret access here, which I'm showing you, so it's not that secret. <laughs> um, but you open this, and it drops you into the to the smuggler's hold. Gotta have a smuggler's hold, right, in a, in a pirate ship. <coughs> Excuse me. There's nothing in here for now, but we're actually going to go ahead and deactivate auto-pull on this. Um, you'll see why in a moment. But uh, basically what we're going to do is... Hmm... I've got to figure out a way to transfer cargo. Let's see, from this ship, I think you do C on this and V on the docker. Whoops. Oh, if the door's closed, you can barely jump high enough to get up that ladder, so it's kind of weird. Um, what else have we got? Bunk area. Now this is interesting. I'm not sure I like this being right by the warp drive. So we might have to adjust some blocks, change some blocks out, maybe put thrusters back there and move those six blocks somewhere else. Um, who knows? I'm going to hop out of gravity real quick just for the sake of convenience. So anyway, we come down this hallway, and this is like a dark access hallway. Um, so I used red lights to kind of simulate darkness without it actually being dark. Um, this door opens into space, but once we have a pod docked, there will be... Um, a pod right up against it, so that will create a uh, airlock or something. So I think we can just hit V on this. No? Do we have to do it the other way? Is it C here and V there? I thought it was C on the chest and V on this. I'm not sure. I'll have to mess with that once we get the pod installed. Um, but that's the interior of the ship, basically. Basically. We can hop back into gravity. <clears throat> Excuse me. There is a ladder here that goes up to the bridge. Again, it's just barely the the maximum height you can jump. So I did not do that on purpose. It just kind of happened that way, and I'm okay with it. <laughs> um, here's our bridge. We've got three buttons. Currently, the buttons aren't hooked up to anything, but eventually they will be um, buttons for docking and undocking the cargo pod. Um, if we hop in the ship core... We've got a few cameras. Here's a cap cam, I guess, from the pilot seat. Um, you can see my screens don't have any data now, but there's that. So here's cap cam from the pilot seat. Here's a flight cam from in front. 
I think this camera is better. Um, so there's uh, kind of our views. I only have the two cameras. Well, I guess the three if you count the ship core. We probably will put a third camera elsewhere. I'm not sure where it's going to go yet, but we'll do it eventually. Um, let's see. Where are we out of the shipyard now? Okay, we're far enough out. Let's take a look at the ship and we'll load a pod into it. It kind of looks kind of weird without one of the pods in it, but <laughs> we'll get there. Um, so here's the shape of it. It is a uh, asym. You know how I like my asymmetry on my ships. So it's kind of like this part is symmetric and this part is symmetric, but together they're asymmetric. Um, so we've got, uh, of course, there's the skull on it. Got to have my logo everywhere. Um, this is where the pod is going to dock, right here. The thrusters, I'm not sure about the thrusters, honestly. I, I didn't do anything fancy. I just used uh, ice crystal. It turned out okay, though. I'm, I'm, not, uh, I'm not, like, dissatisfied with it. We might uh, be able to, if we need some more thrust once we get there, um, as you can see right now, we've got about 1,000 mass and about 2,200 thrust. So we're about a 2 to 1 thrust to mass ratio, but, but, we don't have a cargo pod and there's nothing in the pod. So once we add loot to the ship, it's going to increase that mass immensely. So that's why we need so much thrust. This ship is probably like 75% thrusters, <laughs> except for the cannon. Okay, maybe it's like 25% thrusters because the cannon is half the ship. Uh, <laughs> um, but... If we need more thrusters, this can be extended a little bit down, uh, and that might look a little better too, so maybe we'll end up doing that anyway just for looks. Um, I put this orange piping all over, kind of like the same kind of thing we did on the warp gate. I think it looks cool. I think it works out pretty well. I may have overdone it a little bit, <laughs> though. Um, there's a lot of orange decoration, but it works out. Um, got some exposed systems on the sides. Um, but I think that looks good as well. Got like the street, the three stripes thing, kind of like we have going on the Lancer. Um, so I like that. I'm thinking Dragoon. What do you guys think? Um, let's talk tech specs a little bit. We'll talk about the salvage cannon. This cannon is a uh, it's salvage beams and cannon modules um, at one to one. So right here, they're uh, one thousand eight hundred and twenty five salvage computers and the same amount of cannon computers um so it's a constant fire cannon that's a big cannon this cannon goes 25 blocks and uh to about here and then offset 25 more blocks so that way it hits every single block um in this cannon let's fire it what we can do actually let's uh let's do this let's go into flight mode we'll double shift so you get like a free camera thing we can zoom out and fire the salvage computer. Boom! What a cannon, though. Am I right or am I right? <laughs> and it shoots constantly. I have absolutely no trouble, no trouble with power. I have way more power than I'll ever need in this thing. Um, so that's awesome. Um, let's dock a pod into it so we can test it out. I'm really curious to see uh, how well this is going to work. First, I want to set up my hot bar, though. So we want... Salvage computer here. Let's put the jump drive here. We'll need the radar jammer here. These are to dock and undock the pod um, once we get there. Let's see. One of these rail dockers is for... Okay, that one's to actually dock us. The other one is for the pod, uh, the cargo pod. So we won't need to fire that one. We're going to use magnetic docking for it. And she's a little bit sluggish, honestly, but I'm okay with that being a, a, uh, like a utility ship. She's not made like the eyes and ears to get around quickly. She's made to uh, mine asteroids, basically, is all she's for. Um, maybe do a little bit of transporting until we get our transporter set up. Set up. <laughs> uh, she's going to be our, uh, our transport ship as well. Um, but what I'm going to do is kind of park her right here. Now, until we get the automatic pod loading in place, we're still moving a little bit. Until we get the automatic pod loading in place, we're going to have to manually load these pods, um, which is okay, but we definitely 
uh, want to work on the automatic pod system um, as soon as possible uh, because I don't want to manually do this too much. Uh, and, and also, that was the whole point of the Salty Shipyard was to load these pods into this ship. <laughs> the entire point of this station. So we want to get that done as quickly as we can. Um, let's go ahead and hop into this. And now one of these rail dockers is going to be on... We want the one on the left side. Or I... No. We want the one on the right side of the actual storage pod. And looks like our loading system works perfectly now. So that's fantastic news. And that extra pod we had floating around is going to uh, dock itself in the place of the third one. So let's, let's try... That is the one we want. So we're just basically going to dock this to there. Come on. Come on. Okay, maybe we're not close enough. This is a tight fit, but I designed it so that it would actually carry anybody's cargo containers as long as they have a dock on the long side. So I think Garth omitted the long side docks. Come on. Oh man, why isn't this working? Let's see. Is it the pod? Is there something wrong here? No, it's it's configured properly. Uh, but I think Garth omitted the long sides pods, but everybody else is using rectangular pods. I'm using the tanks, so um, I made my ship capable of using the rectangular pods as well. Oh, I know why, because that needs to be a rail, not a docker. Okay, hold on, I'm going to fix this. Okay, problem solved. Whoops, I left the airlock open. Oops. <laughs> okay, uh, where's the pod? There it is. Let's try this again. Now it should work. <laughs> that was my bad. Um, I did not test this yet, so you guys are doing this first try with me. Um, I also was able to assign... Yeah, no problem. So that worked perfectly fine. Now, I did not consider this. How am I going to get out of here? <laughs> uh, hmm. I think I'm going to have to cut a hole in the floor. We may have to adjust this door a little bit so that we can actually use it. But if we turn this on, now any, any uh, materials... Oh wait, we need to we need to link a couple of things still. One sec. <laughs> okay, <laughs> minor inconveniences out of the way. Uh, oh, now we are not aligned properly. There we go. Okay, now we're back in the pod miner and we're finally ready to test it. <laughs> so I figured what we do. Oh, I need to fix that. You shouldn't be able to see that thruster plume there. I'm finding all kinds of problems. That's okay. That's okay. That's what we're that's what we're doing today. Um, let's sit in our captain's chair and go find some asteroids. So now we've got the pod. I actually wonder what that did to our mass. We're still at 1,012, so it did not increase the mass that much. How does it look with the pod in here? Looks pretty good, I think. I think that fits very well. Uh, it's almost too many skulls, but you can't have too many skulls. I'm, you know, being a pirate. <laughs> so I like that. I'm definitely not taking the skulls off the pod anyway. Maybe we cover it up with something? Nah, it's fine. <laughs> let's, uh, let's go find some asteroids. So here we are at some rocks. I, uh, I like the cockpit view. As cool as the cockpit view is, I'm thinking we might put a camera on the outside somewhere, though, um, just because it's easier to see. Although, I don't know, cockpit view is cool. Let's try this mining gun, and uh, we'll try this mining gun and make sure that everything goes into the pods properly. So this should be pretty quick gun. I mean, it's pretty big. 25 long times 2, so um, it should be pretty fast. This is, I think, is the same gun the Lancer has. It might be, the Lancers might be 20 instead of 25, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. But I do not remember exactly. Yeah, this is working pretty well. Let's mine up this whole thing and see kind of what we end up with um, as far as where it goes. If it goes into the hold of this ship, we did something wrong. <laughs> if it goes into the cargo pod, then we did everything right. Um, I also did adjust the door uh, in that back part where the cargo pod is, so I fixed that already. 
Um, okay, so we got one rock down. We'll need to put something on those screens. Let me know if you have any ideas for what we should put here and here. Um, I did have power and shields, but we don't have any shields, so that's not useful. <laughs> uh, let's. I like being in gravity, man. I like gravity. Let's do gravity. So this window is kind of useless. <clears throat> Excuse me. This window is kind of useless if we have something docked. But the whole purpose is to tell, uh, is to tell us if something is docked. I put a lot of doors in here, thinking uh, airlocks. Okay, now this should have inventory. It does not. All right, so let's figure that out now. Oh my gosh, so I spent so long trying to troubleshoot this and I figured it out. <laughs> I can't believe what a rudimentary mistake. This is set up properly, auto pull was on, nothing set. So we're gonna <laughs> add all. All right, now it's gonna work. Oh my gosh. Let's, uh, let's dock this puppy back. It is this docker, correct? It is. Now we can hop out. Oh, we actually got out of the pod that time. That's good. So now it should be working. Uh, let's just double check. Let's see. Let's we'll just fly over here and look in the in the storage pod. If there is anything, then we did it right. <laughs> if there's not anything, uh, back to the drawing board. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's there. Okay, so that was it. I uh, my bad once again. Lens cap makes mistakes. Uh, that's what I should name this show. <laughs> Maybe that's what we'll call this episode, Lens Cap Makes Mistakes. Okay, there we go. So it works. It works. It's fine. <laughs> Once we got all the kinks worked out, uh, and there were some kinks for sure, um, but that's part of it, man. You know, that's part of what I like about this game is figuring out uh, all the little details and the things that you missed. So let's mine up some more asteroids. Um, now, I'm not going to sit here and make you guys watch me mine asteroids. That makes for really boring content. Um, so we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. I'm going to mine a bunch of stuff, fill up this tank, and see how well those thrusters work for us. Um, I will see you guys in the next episode, but thank you so much for tuning in. If you have any ideas for names for this ship, I would love to hear them. I'm thinking the Dragoon. Tell me what you think of that. If you guys have a cooler idea for a name, I definitely would love to hear it because I will totally change the name to what you suggest.